So these are probably my favorite pair of Vans that I ever owned. I've been wearing these things since about 2014 or 2015, so I've gotten some pretty good use out of them, but the only reason that I don't wear them very much anymore is because of this. Check out the damage on that heel. Now, as you know on this channel, I try to keep my clothes as long as possible to prevent them from ending up in the landfill, but that's just unfortunately not possible with skate shoes. So in this video, I'm going to show you some awesome ways that you can extend the life of your shoes with a simple trick. Hey team, welcome back to another Levi Save the World Hildebrand episode, the channel where we prove that you don't need to be a hero to save the planet. Today I'm going to be talking about this magical, simple technology that can save you money, save your shoes, and save the planet all at the same time. I'm actually going to be making even more content about how you can make your shoes last as long as possible over on my Patreon page. Every single month on the Patreon page, Leah and I, who's back there making bread, release a secret podcast for the Patreon supporters where we break down different subjects that we talk about here on the channel in greater depth, and we answer questions from members of the team over there, and we discuss current events, and you even get access to some behind the scenes content as well. I'm going to be talking about why I own so many pairs of shoes and how I keep them looking good as long as possible other than the ones that you saw at the beginning of this video, obviously. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, there's a link down in the description. So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video about these heel guards on my TikTok, and it now has over 200,000 views and a lot of comments. People were talking about how they never wore out the heels of their shoes, but instead they wore out the toes, or they never wore out their shoes at all, or just that I was walking wrong. But there was also a bunch of people who were genuinely concerned that this little piece of plastic was going to be bad for your postural health. So I thought I would make this video first to show this heel guard solution to many folks on the team who might be interested in making their shoes last longer, but also to do a bit of a deep dive and figure out if some of those concerns that people had on TikTok were valid. But right off the bat, we are going to talk about these heel guards and why I think they're pretty awesome. So the heel guards that are on my shoes right now were actually put in by a cobbler that I've visited in a few videos in the past that you might have seen here on this channel. Through the course of making this video though, I wanted to see how easy it was to find these things and to apply them for yourselves. I ordered a pack of these heel guards off of Amazon and they're extremely cheap. Please believe I'm not supporting Amazon or advocating that you buy anything from Amazon in this video because there are so many awesome local options that you should try and support first and foremost foremost, the unfortunate reality is these things are pretty niche and really hard to find, so that might be your only option. So what's actually kind of crazy about these in comparison to the ones that I have on my shoes right now is they're actually a different material. These are made of rubber from what it feels like and they're a lot grippier than the ones that are on my shoes right now. However, there does seem to be a bit of a difference in height, if you can see that on there. The original plate that I had on here was a lot thinner, um, and these are significantly thicker. I'm not gonna be able to put that on my feet. What the hell? Hi there, um, I am uh, calling to ask if you guys have um, like heel guards for shoes? Yes, we do have them. Okay, and you'll put them on as well? Yeah. Oh, that's that's great. I, I have another kind of a weird question. Um, are are you okay being in a YouTube video? Sure. Oh, he sounded nice. He sounds sweet. <laughs> so we're heading off to a cobbler to talk about heel guards, what they think of them, and whether or not the ones that I bought from Amazon are actually even worth using. Hello there. I uh, I called on the phone. Yes, okay. I have some questions that I think only you can answer. Okay. So look at these. Oh, wow. Are they, they're not the same at all. No, no. These ones, they have a, a glue strip on the back. Do, would you ever use those? Uh, the rub, it's fairly soft rubber. It's not gonna last very well. Yeah, and they're very high. Yeah. In comparison to these. Yes, yeah. Do you have ones like that here? Oh, okay. 
see? Yeah, see this is more, oh, it's even bigger, look at that. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend these for people when they come in to get their shoes repaired? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, well, uh, there it's $12. Awesome, thank you. Wow, that was great. I freaking love that guy. These <laughs> heel guards are crap. Th these, these are not the kinds of heel guards that you should be putting on your shoes. So take back all the stuff that I said before. These are not what you should be buying. The reason being, this is what he uses on his shoes and this is what I bought off of Amazon. And as you might be able to tell, there is a pretty significant difference in width. So if you look at the sides here, this is about half the width. And on top of that, it's a tougher material. Even while I was standing there, a woman came in who looked like she was probably in her 60s or 70s and she said something along the lines of, wow, oh, I remember my husband used to wear these on every single one of his shoes. I just think that today we don't really consider the fact that we can keep things for longer than the trend that they were a part of. And these little heel guards can help you do that. Another thing that he pointed out that I thought was interesting is that the industry standard that he uses comes with a adhesive strip on the back so that you can basically stick it on yourself without any assistance. And these rubber ones from Amazon don't. Again, proving the fact that you should always support your local business owners, the people in the business in your area who actually know what they're talking about. Anyways, let's get back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> the basic idea of these is incredibly simple. You put this small barrier on your shoe in the high rub point where your foot lands the most often. As you can see, the heel guard is already worn a little bit because I've been wearing these for a couple of months now. And you can see exactly where the strike point is on the shoe where it's hitting the most often. Another question that people had was whether or not this makes your shoe slippery or dangerous when you're walking around outside. And for sure, it's not as grippy as the actual rubber of the sole of your shoe. But I think for most people in a normal circumstance, this is not going to make a huge difference for your ability to walk around safely. I also really thought that these were going to be a lot more noticeable on the bottom of my feet than they are. Once you've had them on for a couple of days, you start to forget that they're there. And the best part is you can actually put these guards on other places around the shoe. Say your toe wears out a lot. You can actually put these right on the tip of your shoe so that that part doesn't wear out as fast. But the number one concern that I saw from people about these heel guards was the potential for physical harm from wearing something like this. So I went online and I spent a solid afternoon Googling whether or not these heel guards could be potentially detrimental to your overall health. And I found nothing. Personally, I would have taken that as enough of an indication that these things probably weren't that bad for you anyways, but I wanted to double check and make sure that I wasn't off base before I made this video. So I called a bunch of doctors. This is Dr. White. Hey, Dr. White, wow, thank you for uh, for hopping on the phone. No problem, just that worked out today. So what would you like me to um, give you feedback on? Because I can, I that is my jam, like that's where I live, that's where I work, that's where I do all my coaching, so I understand this pretty well, as well as anybody ever would. So what oh, okay. Question? Is it bad for you to wear a heel guard on your shoe, basically? No. Yeah, that's that's generally the impression that I got. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Is it worse for somebody to put this protective heel guard on than to just wear the shoes out and worn, wear worn out shoes? Well, then when you wear worn out shoes, now you're on level again. Yeah, so it's, it's what you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. The only solution would be to walk in such a way that you don't wear out your shoes, right? The thing is, there's there's pronation in, in everybody's uh, sort of like mechanics. There's a natural pronation to your foot anyway. Oh, so you're, you so most people are probably going to wear their shoes out in some way. Probably, yeah. Yes, that guard is positioned a little bit to the outside, further along the outside of the heel, then it will tip your feet 
just slightly inward. And with that comes stresses of various kinds. Is it going to be catastrophic? Highly unlikely. Is it something that people could, you know, grab onto if they're falsely fanatical or conspiratorial about it? For sure. You hear about people who ran every single day of their lives and never stretched or something like that. And then we assume that like, you know, you put a little piece of plastic on the heel of your shoe and like that in and of itself is, is gonna like screw up your joints and you know, your back and your hips and all these other, other things like that. But it's, there's so many other factors that go into it. So many other factors will screw you up worse. Y yeah, <laughs> exactly. And that's why people need to go to chiropractors. Thank you for picking up the phone and, and taking the time just out of the blue to uh, to help me out with this. Oh, no problem. Good luck with your YouTube. Wow, that was very informative. Anyway, back to the video. Now, both doctors mentioned that basically there's no way to not wear out your shoes. Everybody walks differently and your shoes are going to wear in different ways because of that. Something that they both said consistently was that you should be wearing a zero drop shoe. So the heel and the toe of your foot should be at the same height. Now the heel guard conflicts with that slightly, but it's not enough to result in any serious damage down the road. If you want to align it more into the center of the back is something that they both said would be better than having it to one side to prevent the possibility of pronation happening, which is when your ankle rolls to the inside of your foot. So the unfortunate reality is that we're wearing shoes on our feet and our feet aren't designed to walk in shoes. We're supposed to be barefoot and therefore we've adapted our walking structure to these shoes and that means that they're gonna wear out. So I wanted to challenge myself. There is a lot of medical research that has gone into how you should properly walk, but in general, the idea is to utilize more of the natural spring of your foot to be used in the way it was intended. So landing on your midfoot is better than landing on your heel. So I'm actually going to try and challenge myself to do that over the next couple of months to see if I can stop my heel from wearing out so much. So as you can see here, these are a pair of black vans that I've had for two going on three years and they're in pretty decent shape other than the fact that the heel is going again. So, so I'm going to try and prevent these shoes from breaking through on that heel by walking differently. <laughs> and so far I can tell you that is not as easy as you think it would be. I've been actually practicing this new walk for the last week or so, and it's crazy how difficult it is to remember to walk in a specific way. My calves actually hurt the first time that I tried to go for like a 35 minute walk with that purpose and intention in mind. So the most sustainable, most affordable way for you to keep your shoes from ending up in the landfill is to change the way that you walk. The reality is though that you're very unlikely to take the time out of your day to learn how to do that. So in lieu of dedicating your life to walking in such a way to save your shoes, you can buy these little heel guards or hire a cobbler to put heel guards on your shoes for you. But regardless of how you walk and what shoes you wear, I wanna thank you for watching today's video, for taking the time out of your day to spend some time with me because I really appreciate it. There is so much crazy stuff going on in the world right now and the fact that people still come out to watch these videos means so, so much to me. So thank you, and if you are not subscribed to this channel, which you very much should be, then hit that button down there and ring the little bell so that we will see you in the next one.